Hello everybody, it's me and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taken up. What? Oh my god, I forgot they do that. <gasps> I could just do this and no one would have, whatever. In this video, I am actually going to be taking a look at, I think I showcased this a long time ago, but I'm going to be taking a look at Go Watch. Now, I'm very excited to give this thing a try today because I think it's going to be decent, though I don't, honestly, I don't have the best expectations for it, but I still think it's going to do pretty good. Here, I have Empowered Ring pair with my Health and Attack, and my Trey Galvanize. This dude's basic type attacks become Spark type and do 30% more damage. Very, very strong trait because basically we turn basic moves into stab moves. So later when this thing gets careless assault, it's going to be doing 30% more. So if you do 30% of 200 of 120, you get the base power of it along with your stab boosted by 50%. Basically they become a, uh, an 80% powered move, which is really, really strong. I think that's how they work. However, if they don't get stab off of them, then it would just be a 30% boost, but I don't really know why that would, that would happen because you'd be literally better off not even using this trait if that was the case. Uh, and with my health and attack, the general idea is I'm trying to be bulky and survive a few hits to do some good damage. And here, I have Climate Shock, Heat Bash, Capsize, and Shatter. Basically, I can be used on any type of weather in Pokemon. <laughs> um, the idea with this is we just have insanely good coverage paired with, uh, Empowered Ring. And with that, we get to boost our damage by, I think, 10%. And with our amazing coverage, we can just do some good work. And now, when I was given this go out, I didn't want to change anything because I wanted to try out a mixed bulky attacker. So I came up with these equipments. Though, with Theater Mask, Ornate Necklace, and Thingamajig, we do a lot of damage on both sides of the spectrum. I don't know. It's going to be really weird. I feel like this is something that huh, you should commit into one side of the offense rather than both sides. Because if you wanted to use like Ornate, something like that, you could get pizza and be more bulky, but I, this, I think this would be fun to try out. Um, I've never really used a go lot, so I don't really know what's going to happen, but honestly, I just want to see what's going to happen. I feel like we're going to be very good versus a lot of air types, so I'm just excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. Let's hop into the first battle. Okay, and here we go into the first battle. Now, the cool thing about this fight is his two resist. Sorry if I'm yawning a bit more than I usually do. I've been out all day. And I'm very sleepy. But I decided might as well try out Gowat, you know? Um. Okay, the thing about Gowat here is its coverage hits the entire team besides the Pompa Boar. So I don't really know how exactly this fight is gonna work out. I kinda wanna go Rotera. I don't think I gave Rotera equipments actually. You know what? I, I, I didn't give it equipment. I totally forgot to give Zorterra equipment. So I'm just going to sack it off immediately. <laughs> I totally forgot <laughs> to give this thing equipment. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, Yeah, I can die here. I'd love to keep you around, though. You know, even without equipment, you can go crazy. Whatever. I'll kill this. Espr Am I dead? Yo, I'm alive? Sick. Yeah, I don't have equipment. <laughs> Oh no, uh, it'll shatter again. Why not? Oof. Unfortunate first start. I'm alive. I forgot. Quits on Rotera. That's fine though. That's okay. Because they go Chrono. And I can shatter. It doesn't really matter if I die here. Uh, it's actually gem. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have a bulky electric type that could probably tank this attack and hopefully get the one shot. Let's see if our shatter can actually take this Kronos out today. I'm very curious how strong is this shatter. It's empowered ring boosted. I would assume this would kill only 45 defense, like 50 health. This would have to kill off of my, like, what, 90 attack? Let's see. Will this kill? Nice! Take off the Chronos there. That's really, really good for us. Puts us in a pretty okay spot, I guess. I mean, they could... Does that kill me, though? That's my question. Ooh, nice! Oh, are they second wind? 
Oh, they're totally second wind. Though that capsize is huge. Half health on day is insane. Inferno is very a very scary doodle, so... As I, I'm definitely going to go down there. Unfortunate, but Gullot did put in some good work killing the Kronos, getting half on the Deferno. Could totally also go Springling, which could just ambush it and put us at a okay spot. I'll probably do that. I'll ambush here. Take this thing down. Nice. Down that goes. Okay. Glad we don't have to deal with that. Um, From here, I think Malzuri goes insane. Yeah, Malzuri pretty much wins from here. I can always go into Malzuri. It won't really change anything. I actually get vulnerable immediately. Quite unfortunate, but... um, I mean, you're totally switching. You never stay in. I can always chill in Chorus in case they go Springling. Yeah. Which doesn't actually take it out. That's quite unfortunate. Um, I can't lose Malzuri, but I can lose Kill Intel, and I think it'd be fine. Um, I just need to keep Springling's Disarm around, because Springling's Disarm is huge. Hopefully that doesn't break me. Ow. Did a lot more than I wanted it to. Let me flashbang here. That did way more than I wanted it to do. Almost one shot Kill Intel the crit Leaf Blade. It's insane. Okay, now we kind of have to rely... Hmm. We're going to have to rely... Hmm. Well, no. Wait, how fast are you? Yeah, no way. I'll go Spring. I want to try out Magical Springling someday. But I just know that Normal Springling is just wildly better. What are you going into? If I do half, you die. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, then. I'll take it. Uh, I'll take this Leaf Blade kill. He's Harry Potter. Jeez, Springling is so strong. It's insane. I love Springling. It's always going to be... Huge power mons are always so strong. You're getting... Yeah. You're going to be in Quick Strike range, which uh, may or may not end the game. Ha! I'm the faster quick striker. Ha 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 ha. I think that's a GG. Because, yeah, Malzuri then comes in, just gets to get a rust off. Which ends off the game. Let me quick strike for guaranteed damage. Hopefully, this is. It'd be amazing if this is over half. Oh, incredible! And Springling goes down. So sad. But, I don't know. That was an interest. That was a uh, kind of weird for Goat. Goat and off the same health. Really? Huh. Interesting. This time I will not forget equipments. Loki, I might have just forgot equipments on both Rotera and Kill Intel. I could have totally done that. I'm very curious now. Well, that was a good fight. Let's have the next one, shall we? Oh yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, 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 avert your eyes. I didn't have equipment on Kill Intel either, which explains quite a bit. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I entered a, like, quick battle as I sent this person a request. So I don't really know what's gonna happen, but I'm very curious. Okay, um,. They have a very galaxy-themed team going on here with both Koryu, Kalintel, and there's a Kronos as well. So, uh, let's try to actually win this game. Uh, this is gonna be a toughie. This is gonna be a toughie, I think. Definitely a tougher battle than usual. Seeming as my Rotera counter, uh, doesn't exist, so... Oh. Okay, I got a good lead off. Okay. Well, your switch into this would be your own Kronos. Your own Rotera, right? So, by that logic, could I hit and run? Because you're switching every time, right? I'm going to try to kill it. Nice. Like, I should live that. Oh my god. <laughs> Just barely. If he was Lethal Ornament, I was dead, and then I'd go Malzuri, and then that would've been a whole thing I didn't want to deal with. Obscured Ghost. I hope you know I outspeed you. You don't outspeed me. Right. That's... that exists. 
Uh, Gowat could come in here. I mean, I could see it tanking some attacks. Let's go for it. I can see Gowat working here. Um, let's go for the Shatter. Realistically, this is doing up to the T. He crits me immediately. You know, I wish I wouldn't get crit. But it's nice we're able to take this thing down. Hmm, okay. I'm noticing a little thing. And how do I beat the kill intel? Springling, probably? Yeah. That shouldn't kill me this time if it doesn't crit. Yeah, that would have done nothing had he not crit me. Okay, one thing I can do is hit the kill intel pretty hard later with a shatter. Oh, Missouri. Take nothing. And now you don't really have a good switch into this. Once I crystal armor, my rust is huge. <laughs> or my opal pulse is huge. Now here's the thing you shouldn't do. Don't ever try to beat Malzuri with an Abyssin. You can't you can't win this fight. If he's crayons, then there's a good Oh, he's cloak. Wait, no, he's not cloak. Oh, he's crayons. Oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? I'll go Springling. I just need to kill this thing quickly. Okay, well, Rip Current won't kill me, luckily. So I can get off my Leaf Blade. It better not kill me. Or else uh, I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble. I'll actually lose immediately if it kills. Oh, nice. He actually did only Leaf Blade. Nice. Get 50% there. Okay, be very careful of that Abyssin because, oh my god, it will just kill me. Uh, I need enough health to live one Rip Current. I need to save Springling for Rip Currenting later. Um, if I go you, I can take out. I gotta be worried. This Abyssin dude is terrifying me. My counter to Abyssin doesn't exist, and the one that could beat it is dead. So, like, the situation I'm in is fairly dire. Let me take out. Nice, okay. That's good. Honestly, I might just quick strike. I think I just need damage on this at this point. If I don't get damage on this, I'll lose. And Rip Current could totally kill me in this range. No, it won't. No, Rip Current won't kill me. Later, though, I'll have to quick strike. Let me leave Blade here. Rip Current will not kill me. Okay, now it'll kill me. So now I'm gonna need to quick strike later. Uh, how exactly am I going to beat this? This is a situation that I'm not very happy about. I might have to just sack Gowat, because at this point, Gowat is dead no matter what. Yeah, so I can go Gowat. The one thing I'm worried about is the Abyssin right now. That's what I'm worried for. I'm also worried about Rotera. Um... Okay. Um, yeah, I'm very worried about that Rotera. Me, Aurora. Okay, I, I'm able to take this thing down. Uh, I think I'll lose to Rotera at this point. I, I need, I would need Malzuri to live a shatter. That's what I need to happen. Yeah, Malzuri would need to live Shatter. And then you would need to outspeed and kill it. Or hit it. No, I think it's pretty much over. I'd have to go Mal and just hope it lives. Wait a minute. That's not right. I'm not gonna live, am I? This is supposed... Um... Uh, I'll go you. Hopefully click Shatter, not Heat Bash. He clicked Heat Bash, and I would have lived. You know, um, mistakes can happen where I don't have the right item. Well, he has Jet Strike. What the heck do I do? 
Hey, Malzuri. You got this, right? You can you can survive a hit. Come on. Grufflin survived the heat bash. You can survive a shatter. No? Okay. I sat in fine battler. No joke. For like 10 minutes and got no one. The reason I don't like battling in social park is because I can't get... Like, I, I, I don't know. There's no difference, but... I don't know. Just don't like it. Um... Okay, what could you do that could be good for this game? I guess you can spam your electric moves, and then if Clangtang comes in, we just hit it. That's something that we could do. Let me try that. I'll leave Rotera. This time I actually have equipment. Oh, and yeah, look, I uh, I fixed Malzuri. <laughs> this doesn't have minus 20 health now. Alright, perfect leadoff for me. And, oh, your air resist doesn't exist. You have one. All right, I can hit and run then. I severely doubt you're staying in. If you stay in, you're dumb. You're going clang. If you go clang, I get to go mal, which then you go back into moss, which then I could go back into. Or you just stay in. I assume you clicked Kona cold. That's going to be my presumptuation. Let me just go pancakes, whatever. If I get hit by 90 base power, non-boosted stab move, it's fine. I don't really care. I'll live. That is nothing. Yeah, we're good. Are you crayons? Yeah. Well, this nose dive gonna hurt, buddy. This nose dive gonna hurt. Let me nose dive. This will hurt you, man. If I miss, I'm gonna go crazy. Don't miss, please. I want to use my climate shot boosted attack, dude. They go monkey. Now they decide to go clang a tang. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Well, now I'll just take out, I guess. Hmm. I could go Rotera. Like, if they go for the... They, they wouldn't. They're not stupid. They, they're gonna try him. Right? Yeah. That wasn't try elemental slash. That was more of a uh, iron slash. And then, now I just think it's earth slash. That'd be crazy. Okay. I mean, I'll take thirty percent on a resisted hit on a hibiscus. Um. Okay, Lintel feels like the only option here that I really have. Could honestly also go go out and then go for my climate shot. Um, but I want to get a safer hit off with it. So I think I'm just going to go kill and tell. My cursed cloak should be able to keep this thing in check. So that shouldn't be that much damage. Yep, look at that. Actually, her before go out completely walls hibiscus, actually. The hibiscus wall, no one asked for, but we all needed. Um, you're going to hit and run into moss, right? Yeah. He crits me as well, which does more than Plant Sap did, <laughs> I think. I don't think it did more, but it'd be funny if it did. What? I'm lost. What's the what's the play here, man? Let's go Rotera on your Reckless Charge. Take like 0%. Why are you dazed when Reckless Charge exists? Come on, man. That does more damage. You dumb? No, I'm just kidding. You're not dumb. Uh, how do I get this thing on the field? Well, I was going to say, I have to think get health back. Now I really wish I clicked hit and run. Now you're going to hit and run, right? Are you going to hit and run? I should have gone Malzuri. I guess I can just Mercury Puddle again. I mean, I don't see any problem with it. Uh, I'm taking too much damage, and I keep not getting any damage off on Humbiscus. I need to send Springling in, because Leaf Blade just does so much damage. Leaf Blade should be able to kill something, actually, so I'm glad for that. Can I get a Poison off? I don't think you can Poison Metal types. Heal Jelly? Wait, oh no. Uh, 
Mmm. Mmm. You gonna try elemental slash. Ah, I wish it went Mal, but it's fine. I am somehow alive with this Rotera, and I'm surprised. I'm gonna heat bash case decide to go back and home because make the same play twice, which no, you should never do. Never make the same play twice, yeah. Down goes a Clango Tang. Okay, so now my climate shot is totally free. Climate shot's about to put in some work, dude. You're about to see some work on this climate shot here. Let me heat bash. I'll t I can die here. It doesn't really matter anymore. I can go down here, and it, it'll be fine. As they actually hit and run, which I leave on one HP. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no way! I'm alive! And I'm alive! Doo -doo. Ooh, you would really let J Jineko take the hit? Ooh, buddy. That might have been the, the wrong play there. Uh, I guess I'll shatter. It does more damage. Okay. Now, my theory here is Gowat goes insane, but I just need to get it on the field safely. So what I sh could do... Oh, flashbang. That's fine if they go moss. Let's actually just go as an auctious. Mm, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I need Springling alive, and I love Kill Intel alive to deal with hat tricks. I'll go Pancakes. I think Pancakes is an option that I gotta go for. Am I dead? It looks like I'm alive. Okay, nice. Okay. I'm alive, and I'm surprised. Okay, I can take out now, which is free. Take out is good because regardless of what he goes into, I'll get a good pivot. Yeah, let me go for a takeout. They sacked that off. Perfect. All right. Here we go. It's go -watt time. We get to throw off our brutally powerful climate shot and hope it does some really good damage. It doesn't hit anything super effectively, but oh my god, it's 80% boosted in power. Let's see how strong this thing is. Come on, man. This better be strong. This better do at least half. To, uh, like, Moss. I'd be happy if it killed Moss. I don't think it's gonna kill Moss, though. Nothing kills Moss in one hit. Mewtwo version 2. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. Will it work out? Or will it fail, or will I go? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, beautifully tanked. Okay, half. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. Half on hat tricks. Shoot, man, I'm dead. Go! Yes! <laughs> I crit him! Let's go! Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, dude. Does this even kill me? Would plant stuff even kill me? Okay, it does. It crits me. He, I crit him, he crits me. It's fair. It's a fair exchange. Oh my god, I'm worried now. I need to get Springling on the field. I mean, it, Springling gets a kill every time it's on the field, so. Okay, healing up with my heal jelly. Now I feel like I'm tanky enough to take at least one plant sap. I'm just worried right now. I'm very worried. Because this game right now can go either way. If I go Springling, it leaves me exposed as an Ah. 
If I sack you, I rely on Kalintel to beat Humbiscus, which it can. It can. I can just Mercury Puddle twice. I think this is my best option to just hit this thing. <clears throat> Are you Stormwater? You would be Stormwater, would you? It's a uh, Storm Drain. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He crits me and gets a confuse. I think I just lose because of the, the, the mold or the moss here. Because I would need to hit it with a leaf blade or disc something. You know, but I can't because it's gonna have Kona Cold. So, um, oh, wait, what? What? Is he not Cone? <gasps> he ain't Kona Cold. Okay, that's really good to know. Go Flying Grass. Oh my god, okay. This is still possible then. Are you gonna climate shot? Was that your plan to climate shot kill Intel? Well, that doesn't do more damage than your plant sap. Is it climate? Yeah, it's just wind shear. Uh, I don't like this. This is getting a scary end game. If I can kill some biscuits, I win immediately, though. If not, this will get a bit more interesting. I mean, their play is to hit and run, but if I hit and run, I get health back. Yeah, I'm getting health back from this. I don't really know why they would do that. Their play there was to go for the kill. <sighs> I don't think we can break this, dude. I don't think we kill M Moss. It's only at plus one. Mm. My issue if I go kill Intel. I know Malzer. Mm. Well, it's Sakura Blast, right? No, I win. I don't need to. I don't need to Malzuri. Oh, it doesn't have. Okay, it doesn't have Code of Cold. Okay. Okay, it does not have Cone of Cold. So with that information, I can go Springling. And that's just a disarm. Oh my god, don't confuse me. Oh, that would have been terrifying if that confused me. Okay. Disarm. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. But yeah. Oh. Oh my god, that got really close. It was at the very end that I realized that I could just sack Malzuri, then go Springling. I didn't have to keep Malzuri alive, so. Oh my god. GG. Oh my god. Okay, so after some bit of testing, I think I come to a conclusion that Gowad is probably not the best option for an electric type. There are just so many good electric types that outclass it. Like, for an offensive electric type, just use Voltatu. For a defensive one, just use Rip Turbant. Like, I don't know. 
it's such a weird doodle to use right now. I just don't think it's worth using. It just doesn't seem very good. But I think with that, that'll probably be an end of the showcase. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It's very helpful. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye!